Hey everybody, it's Rob from Fly Out Throughs. This is the first video from the second day of the Gundam Battle Operation 2 beta. April 21st it was, and this is the Gym 3. Uh, the Gym 3 hails from Gundam Double Zeta, which is significantly later in the UC timeline than anything else we've uh, seen so far. The first thing, the latest thing that ever came into Battle Operation 1 was, I believe, the GP series, which were created in, Gundam, in UC 0083 and Gundam 0083. And yeah, so it, in terms of how it handles, it reminds me of some of the uh, late model mobile suits from Battle Operation 1, kind of like the Galbaldi Alpha. It's relatively fast. It has a beam rifle that does not charge but stuns. But unlike the Galbaldi Alpha, it actually has missiles that, uh, so it has some kind of, you know, defensive options when it redlines its rifle. Stunned the GAN, did not manage to do much else to the GAN because I was waiting for my missiles to ready up, and then I was getting, you know, slashed repeatedly once they were ready. So, readied up my saber. It decided to go wade into the rest of the team, and I'm just trying to get a good shot in and hitting that Jim Striker that was trying to defend me. Now we're all uh, surrounded, and I've just kind of made a mess of things, but not alone, which I guess something. Yeah, I'm... Okay, yeah, that guy was not aiming for the GAN, and you can tell. Oh, well, that's because that's not our gym striker, that's the other gym striker. Cannot wait for custom paint jobs. But my legs are already destroyed, so off to a great start. Um, overheated the rifle already. Hit nothing doing it. Um launching things. Wanted to get back out of Gelgug's way, so I uh, dashed backwards and fell on my butt. But these things happen. There's the GAN. I did not hit it with the missiles. The only thing I have left is Vulcans, but it doesn't matter because I've exploded. So, the Gem 3 is significantly better than you see me playing it, which is generally true of anything I play for the first time. Or, you know, 27th. But... Let's get back in there soon. Like, just about the whole team has been rolled at this point, because, well, everybody is uh, waiting to respawn. Somebody just did, so when I can get in to back them up, that's my plan. I think that's my plan, anyway. I say these things as though I know what I was thinking, you know, almost three weeks ago now. I don't. I don't at all. Yeah. It stuns, it does pretty good damage, and, yeah managed to get the GAN knocked down at least, and got good and stun locked because I'm surrounded. I think I did a shift to the side instead of a dodge roll, which is fine by me, considering most mobile suits of this vintage can hover. That makes kind of more sense than a dodge roll. Um, well, the GAN finally went down. Uh, I got a, an assist for that. I am not doing very well here at all. The team as a whole is not doing very well. That's not all on me, but, you know, some of it. That's how it works. And you, I'm sure you are familiar with this scenario on the original map of Gundam Battle Operation 1 as well, where the enemy pushes you back to your home base and scores all the points. So, yeah, this is definitely still Gundam Battle Operation, so, you know, you will feel relatively comfortable with this. Um fired the missiles. The missiles fire very slowly, but they do great damage when they connect, those big ones. But so, so slow. See, the GAN is around there. I need to be supporting people. One of us uh, disconnected because... I'm not sure if this was a ranking match or not, to be honest. Um, considering you can rank down, I foresee disconnecting being kind of a thing with those, but let's see. Striker tried to get me, I think it is. Is that the Gundam Ground? It's Gundam Ground. Managed to catch it with my beam rifle. My shield got taken. Oh, it's the G3 is what it is. I thought those were the, you know, overhanging bits on a, a ground-type Gundam's backpack. They're the bazookas hanging off the back while it's shooting at me. So, yeah, that's a thing. It's uh, charging a shot. I don't need to charge a shot. I've got missiles. He missed me, which is good. Those, the big missiles managed to hit the GAN, or no, hit the mark, a uh, Gundam, G3 Gundam. Ah. So many mobile suits, so little brain. I got, now that probably, that was either a pilot or a, uh, or a ground type that flash bombed me. But, 
Heater 1 is not good. And I am down. Trying to get up. My legs are almost but not totally destroyed. It's enough that uh, dodging is going to be a hassle. Yep, there's the ground type that flashed me. I had enough leg to segue into my beam saber. That was good. I caught it on the backswing, but not for enough damage to be of any kind of use, and I'm dead again. Jim Striker is here. It killed me. And... Yeah, it's, it's one of those rounds. Um... I do like the Gym 3, and you're going to see it tomorrow as well in space, so... I, I just, it's one of those things that I definitely need more practice with because I'm sure there's better ways to use it and combo from one set of weapons to the other. I'm holding my respawn for a couple more people. Basically, when some of the people have readied up like that, when they're spawn in, I figured I would spawn in too just so we'd have a little bit of coordination. And I'm not sure, it's probably not going to be enough coordination, but ah, they were in a beam saber clash. Neat. Two of their own people were in a beam saber clash, which is weird. Um, gun cannon is shooting me. That's normal. Everything is stabbing me. Also normal. Yeah, this was a bad first round for the gym three, but I did at least kill uh, one person. So, I, as you saw from the gun cannon of abject failure, I've had worse first rounds. Oh, got the striker. I'm still completely surrounded, which is you know bad, but. I'm doing some damage, and that tackle probably should have connected, but it was just off-center a little bit, and now I die. Yeah, so, you know, a very Gundam Battle Operation 1 round. Get pushed back to your base, and the enemy team wins everything forever. Um, at least with mixed teams, it's not a foregone conclusion that it's Zeon that's going to do that, but, man. Yeah, 2,600 to 10,000, that's... Yeah. Oh, and they planted a bomb, too, just to, uh, j uh, just for, you know, the, the maximum middle finger extension possible. And time to spawn in and try and kill something before I immediately get killed. The smart thing would probably have been to run away and try and get some checkpoints uh, cleared. I did not do that at any point, and neither did anyone else. Yeah, um, pardon the, uh, sig the uh, alert there on my phone. But yeah, it's one of those points where, yeah, you just, oh, got a bazooka kill on the GAN. You know, at least there's something to say for this, but also got uh, slashed by that guy. But, yeah, it's one of those rounds where you just kind of say, heck with it, and get out and try and kill things as a pilot, because what else are you going to do? Uh, somebody has gotten away, they're headed for another checkpoint, they're not going to have time to take it with 27 seconds left. I spawned in as a, as a pilot, because why give away points? The bazooka is harder to aim now. The flash bomb's just about as hard as they ever were. I think I flashed at least two people there, though, so I wish, you know, I wish that Jim Striker hadn't been as accurate with his, uh, shots as he was. Also, you'll notice it was a level 3 Jim Striker, which is not great either. But yeah, that's it. And could not find the sorry tell. Realized the, you know, there used to be two sorry tells. One involved kanji and one didn't. The non-kanji one that was easier for me to make out is gone. But yeah, that's the stage. Somehow I came out the top score. I guess because of that little thing where I killed like a couple of people in a row. Anyway, that's going to do it for uh, today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll see you tomorrow in space. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later.